Holy moly, beads on plate. Ew. Ew. Holy crap. Hey, I'm Chris, lead instructor here at Western Welding Academy. I'm going to be doing some Rate My Wells that you guys sent in to us. So our first weld of the day is Jet, age 34, doing some MIG welding. Well, Jet, looking at your weld there, biggest thing I'm going to nail you with immediately is lack of prep on your material. You left all that rust mill scale on there. That is a huge pet peeve of mine. Positive note, your travel speed actually stayed pretty consistent. Your tow lines are very even. Now, the way you oscillated that hard wire puddle with that MIG gun, looks like you, you were kind of doing some back and forth stepping, maybe a little circle motion. Kind of hard to tell a little bit, but either way you look at it though, you're getting your ripples, they're starting to separate a little bit too much, which is basically could cause some lack of fusion or a potential cracking in there. Like I said, travel speed did remain pretty good. Your tow lines are even, but because of that lack of prep, so I'm going to give that weld a 6 out of 10. Next time, really prep that material, especially bad material prep means bad fusion. So next up, we got Ethan, 17, doing a horizontal stick fillet weld. Doesn't look half bad there. Now, one thing I will say, it looks like you did a reasonable prep. Could have done a little bit more on some cleaning, but... One thing I will say, you did start out good with your overlapping beads, but by the middle area, it kind of looks like you started to kind of droop down a little bit, started getting some heavy overlap, corrected a little bit, still got a little heavy towards the end, but also I can see on there that very ending, kind of that last quarter, you started getting kind of jumpy like you started getting unsteady. So you definitely got to make sure you stabilize yourself. Always remember the ABCs. Always be comfortable. Now, unfortunately, in welding, it's not always comfortable. We do have to start kind of uncomfortable to finish comfortably. But for the most part, the weld actually does look pretty good, pretty consistent travel speed and everything. I would say even though you're stick welding, a lot of people like to not prep as much because stick is pretty good at welding through dirty metal. But if you really want to have that good fusion, a good, strong, sound weld, you do have to do a little bit more prep, but also too on that overlap, make sure you're always watching for that 50%, not going more than 50, then you start getting real saggy looking. But for that weld though, Ethan, I'll give you a seven out of 10 for that one. That was pretty good. A couple little things to work on still, like that overlap, a little more cleanliness, get yourself a little more comfortable to finish that weld out, but ultimately pretty good. Next up, we got Dominicus. 22 years of age, doing some vertical MIG. Actually looks like some hardwire MIG. I will say though, your overlap is pretty good. Your movements for your weave with that MIG gun actually stayed very consistent because your ripples and everything, your movements between all three of your cover beads there were actually lining up. So it means you kept the exact same movement each time. So that's a good plus right there. But do make sure you are running end of plate to end of plate. You kind of left some little open sections in there. But also, too, on your very last bead, I can see you got a little bit of wash out against the toe line a bit. Just means that you needed to hold that edge a little bit longer. Plus, too, you can also see that kind of gives it the way you didn't hold your edge. Your final cover pass there, that last bead against that one side, the crown is kind of really peaking in the middle, which is sign that hold time to that edge wasn't enough to get the full puddle to shift. But other than that, actually, pretty good. You prepped your material, which I'm very happy to see that. I'm a stickler for material prepping. So if you ever get into TIG welding, you've already got a right hand for that. Just because material prep, TIG loves cleanliness. But all in all, pretty good weld, I will say. Keep it up. So I'm going to give this weld a 7 out of 10 for you, Dominicus. Main reason being, man, make sure you always weld end to end of the plates and everything, but also Watch those toe lines for when you bring that puddle over in that weave. Make sure you see the full puddle shift with you so that way you don't get a washout or undercut edge. Most inspectors don't want to see that type of stuff, but all in all, pretty good job. All right, so next up, we got Carlos, 18 years of age, doing some stick weld on some flat plate by the way it looks. Not too bad looking. I say travel speed looks pretty good. Clean that material more. I can still see all that rusty mill scale on there. So definitely clean that material for a better looking weld, also a better view while you're making that weld. But like I said, travel speed's pretty good, but you definitely got to tighten that overlap up because I can see those valleys in between each one of your beads there. So always remember that a multi-pass weld, that overlap of beads is very crucial to the integrity of the weld. You can start getting separations on it like that. 
that's definitely a stress point, a breaking point potentially. That's one big thing you got to work on there. I said travel speed looks pretty good. Arc length looks pretty good. You don't have a lot of spatter or anything like that. Looks pretty good from what I can see. Now on that one, I'm going to give you a 6 out of 10 for this one. Main reason being lack of cleanliness and tighten that overlap up. So for our last weld, we got Cameron, age 20, doing some stick welding. By the looks of it, a multi-pass horizontal flat. You definitely got to get a little more comfortable because I can see you're shaking as you go through. Definitely brace yourself up. Or if you start up, you notice you're like you're, un you're unstable, just tap out, reposition, make a clean tie-in. But also a couple other things, please clean the metal. Even though you're stick welding, and all stick welders say they can weld through crud, rust, mill scale, whatever it is. It still does not make a strong sound weld. Let alone all that stuff burning while you're welding creates a more of a fume. One, bad for you to breathe, but also kind of makes things more hazy to see. Could that have been part of the problem why it seems like you're shaking? Maybe because you're trying to find your way because it's harder to see? Possibly. But another thing is, your first two beads on the bottom, you had decent overlap. But the last two cover passes, you missed it pretty good where you got those solid valleys in between. Always focus on the overlap no matter what. In a multi-pass weld, that overlap is the structural integrity of the weld. Otherwise, if this was something that's going to take a lot of vibrations or anything like that, well, it's got a good stress point, put it that way. It's liable to break. But also, too, kind of at your endings there, at least in the first three cover beads you got there, it looks like when you came to the end, you kind of just like sat, maybe backtracked a little bit. Other than that, man, when you got to come to the end, I only stop for maybe a split second, let that puddle build and snap. But it looks like you kind of came and just kind of like sat there and almost tried to like reconnect all the beads at the end just by one massive puddle. Just come right to the end, sit for a second, pause, flip out. Now, on your last bead, you did it more right. Now, unless two, Maybe there was something going on at that end that you're trying to kind of cover up a little bit, possible. But if there was something going on at that end and you're just trying to cover it, best choices are just grind it out, replenish a new good looking bead back in would be your best choice. Because you leave something like that and inspector sees it, they're going to question what went wrong there. And then, well, now you got a choice to make. Basically, are you going to try and fix it or is this it? I'm going to give this weld a five out of 10. Main reasons being, you got to clean that material up, but also to focus on that overlap, keeping those beads uniform and travel speed. But also, like I said, if you start out, you get uncomfortable, just stop, make a clean tie in and finish out the well strong. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you want us to rate your welds, go to our website under the connect with us. You will see the rate my weld tab, submit your welds there and I will happily rate them on the next video. Don't forget to join us on YouTube and TikTok every other Monday where we do a Rate My Weld live. And we will see you next time.